Wir sprechen über die Situation im Zusammenhang mit dem Iran. Die Ankündigung der 20-Prozent-Anreicherung, der letzte IAEO-Bericht, das ist alles außerordentlich beunruhigend. Und äh, deshalb wird das Thema auch heute eine wichtige Rolle spielen. Ich betone, wir wollen nach wie vor eine diplomatische Lösung erfahren. One of the big challenges that we're still dealing with is, of course, Haiti. I'll be traveling there very shortly, and we'll have a good discussion this morning about what we can do for the short term. But as you all know, my big consideration is to think for the long term as well. We have the donor conference at the end of March, so this is a good opportunity again to look at what we're doing as the EU, what member states are doing, what the Commission's doing. Did you see any... Um well, individual countries that have been affected by it have uh, expressed their views, and I think it's very important now that uh, we give full support to the investigation of the, and everyone does, to, of the uh, UAE authorities to find out what happened. But of course, misuse of European passports is not to be tolerated. Well, you know, we are extremely concerned that uh, uh, the European passport, that is a very, you know, rigorous and legal from document, can be used in a uh, different manner and for different purposes. So we are going to discuss it, and we hope that we will uh, issue a statement expressing our concern about this situation. Okay. Donc il faut d'abord définir les coupables et si on a défini les coupables, il faut vraiment euh, essayer, nous, dans l'Union Européenne, à ce que nos passeports ne soient pas utilisés pour ces choses-là. Ce sont des actes euh, qui n'ont plus leur place euh, au XXIe siècle. 